In this scripting session, we will show you how to create a custom script. Now I'll move on to the next builder. This time I want to make it a little bit more simple and use all the fixtures together. So I'll make a selection over all of my freedom sticks and my moving heads, select an effect and timing, add the same effect and then speed that up in the next section as the build up continues to build in intensity. And then apply a reverse chase effect so the lights go back the other way as we get closer to the end of the build up. Here I'll set an attribute queue and use the built in movement macros for my intimidator trios and adjust the speed to how I like it. Cool, I'm happy with how that looks. Now, I'll place another attribute queue at the end of that section and turn those effects off. Now, I'll start working on the second drop. This time, I want all of my lights to be red and start strobing. I'll apply a strobe effect to the Intimidator trios and chase effects to the Freedom Stick. As you can see here, I'm placing the chases inside the groups rather than on the selected track. This means that the chase will be applied within the group. Repeat the process for the other four groups of freedom sticks. And then apply an overall chase onto the selected tracks at the second half of the drop. Now I'll play that back and see how it all looks together. For these and more great tips, check out soundswitch.com.